Hi everyone. Um, this is a box that we found, and I did. I did. Did I show it in one of the videos, Chris? Ah, uh, yes. I just showed it. Video. Yeah, in the Goodwill video. Yeah. Uh, and I said it had uh, Chinese paper on it, like a leatherette paper. Yeah, that's right. We did. And um, since then, I've now altered this box, and what I've done with it. Um, after Robert complete, I mean blathered in stuff, but what Robert did for me, he took the leather uh, panels off, the top and the sides, then he sanded the whole box down for me, and then I did a coat of um, ordinary acrylic paint, and then a coat uh, in black, and then a coat of the folk art acrylic paint in black, which gave it a nice coating, smooth, well it was smooth when Robert sanded it, but uh, it's just made it even smoother. Um, then what I did, I cut these panels and the top out of the paper I bought yesterday. Um, I've just laid them down on this uh, mat. Used the Tim Holtz, uh, what to call it, walnut stain to do the edges and then sprayed them with water so it, it all ran into itself uh, and made it look aged. Uh, I then used the PVA glue to turn these, well I dried these first and used a PVA glue to put a coating on the back of them um, and then using a brush, just an ordinary brush, coated uh, each panel area with some PVA glue and the top, waited for them both to go tacky and then um, stuck them together and it really holds them tight uh, and neat and flat. And then I used rub and buff to go around all the sides leaving lots of black showing. As you can see it's turned out pretty good. I have got some pictures that we're just loading up at the moment and this film will be on, oh, what am I saying, this film will be on the beginning like a nana. <laughs> oh right, after this film you will be seeing the photographs uh, up close, the still pictures, because I've gone through stages with it. It would too long to do a video on it so I just thought I'll tell you about it afterwards uh, but you're going to see the pictures shortly and uh, doing stage by stage like that and I think it's come out pretty neat and then I used and I think Robert removed it back down to the garage but uh, when the whole thing was done I wanted to do not quite a gloss on it because originally I was going to do the black um, lacquer lacquer effect. good job you can remember because I can't <clears throat> I was going to do the black lacquer effect but changed my mind because I, I saw this as a very nice piece um, of art. Of art. I, I just, yeah, I think it looks, um, what can you call it? It's classy. Yes, it is very. Would you say classy? I would, definitely. Yeah, it is quite classy looking uh, now. <laughs> yes, now. <laughs> it didn't start uh, off that way. No, it didn't start off that way. It was quite shabby, actually. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's come up really good. Nice piece of furniture to, or ornament to have around the home. <laughs> Um, does look vintage. Yes, it yeah. does. And guess who likes it a lot? Yeah, and Robert took a shine to it. He, he couldn't believe it, how lovely it's turned out. And so as a gift, because it is heavy and I'm thinking of the postage to go home now when I get in. As a gift, I just thought, well, I mean, he kept coming in to have a look at it, didn't he? Yes. Stage by stage. And he just kept saying, wow. I love that, wow. So I just thought, do you know what? He's been ever so good to me. He's brought me all the cups of coffee. <laughs> He's made me meals. He's done everything. So um, I thought, what a nice gift, because he, he did like it. He liked it a lot, didn't he? Oh, yes, he loves it. So I just thought, yeah, it could be a man's gift, couldn't it? Yeah. It's like a man's box. Yes. So I've given him this box as a gift from me to remember me by. And he was very... He was very touched and I got a yes. hug as well. Yes. So, he was, he absolutely loves it. Um, and like I say, he did get me some varnish, uh, what was it called, that poly... Polyurethane. Polyurethane um, varnish to go over it. So it's given it a really nice And you get coat. a ton of that for the price you pay for one of those little bottles of varnish. Yes, Michaels. you do. Yes, you do. It was a big tin. <clears throat> but like I say, it's given it a nice, not too glossy, but a nice sheen, a nice finish on it and everything was coated in it uh, and then just rub and buff put all over the lock um, the latch and, and all the bottom and all the spare bits and in between as well so it all blends in nicely 
so I just think that's turned out fabulous. I would have liked to have taken it home because I think it would have looked gorgeous with my sewing stuff in. But I'm saying that is so sweet. I can't resist letting him have that. So there you go. As a gift. Yes. To say thank you. And well, he's had to put up with me. Come on, let's be honest. <laughs> he's had to put up with me for two weeks. I don't think he has minded a bit. Well, hope not. Not a bit. No, I don't think. He's been really sweet. Very sweet. So... She's had, now she has three husbands again. Yeah, I've got three. <laughs> She's got three husbands, and she really wants to take Do you know home, what? But, you I know. want to collect crafting stuff, not bloody husbands. Well, you've already started collecting husbands, so oh, what are you going to do about well. it now? I might divorce them all and go it alone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. No, they're all, they're all really sweet looking after me, so there you go. Yeah. Felt right at home. Isn't it lovely, though? I just, I can't get over how it's turned out. It turned out fabulous. Not being big headed or anything, but it's turned no, out. No, it turned stunning. out really good. It turned out like your vision. Yeah, this is what I had in my head. And it actually came out how I wanted it to come out. So I'm thrilled to bits with it. And I know Robert is. Yes. So there you go. Keep watching for the still pictures. Speak to you soon.